So 343 Industries lost over 50 staff today and Joe Staten is leaving Halo, supposedly. No official word as of me making this video. But you guys come to me because you want the objective facts of what I think is going to happen with Halo to break it down, the good and the bad. So let's jump right into it. So Microsoft made some big industry cuts. Everybody was affected and that includes 343. They lost about 10% of their staff. If they had 500 employees and they lost 10%, that means they're left with about 440. That is not an exact number, so don't quote me on that. Now, the article also said that Joe Staten will be returning to his Xbox publishing role now that Halo Infinite has reached seasonality. I saw a lot of people saying, oh my God, Joe Staten is leaving. Halo is dead. And I think it's important to wait for the official statement before jumping to conclusions because he's done this before. As soon as he finishes his role of what he was set out to do, he returns back to Xbox publishing. Initially, he only set out to help ship Halo Infinite, but given the technical debt and all the issues Halo Infinite had, he probably stayed on longer than expected to to get the game where it needed to be and now that all those issues are being resolved you can go back to the other position he was at before i know it's easy to jump to conclusions but looking at things objectively that is the most likely outcome regardless of that the majority of the layoffs were for the campaign side of the game for multiplayer we know we're getting season three what i'm very curious to know what is going to happen to halo infinite's battle royale time will tell but we really need some sort of statement from 343 just so we know what's going on i reached out to bathrobe spartan who also has a lot of insider information and he said the layoffs are going to impact both infinite and MCC. Infinite will continue to receive support for some time, but with the layoffs and the staffing freeze, they have to limit their scope of what is actually possible. Anything that was already planned and currently being worked on will continue to be worked on. So shout out to Bathrobe Spartan, thank you for the information. I've linked his socials down in the description below. Now we've actually had some X343 employees post some tweets about the state of Halo, the state of Halo Infinite specifically, and why things turned out the way they did. Now after the news that has come out today, I'm probably going to make a separate video about this because it completely explains why Halo Infinite turned out the way it did, what leadership decisions were made. It was made by three employees in particular, and that was why Halo Infinite launched in the state it did. So I'll probably record that tomorrow. It's going to be a long one. But for now, Patrick Wren, Darkstar, an X343 employee, had this to say. The layoffs of 303 shouldn't have happened and Halo Infinite should be in a better state. The reason for both of those things is incompetent leadership up top during Halo Infinite development causing massive stress on those working hard to make Halo the best it can be. So what I will say very briefly, that this is based on employees who have actually left the studio now. One was in charge of monetization, one was in charge of sandbox, and the other was Chris Lee who we all know. There was decisions to limit playlists, there was decisions to make a hero shooter like Overwatch, there was changes to the Halo sandbox without thinking of the ramifications of how it would affect the overall game. I've always said that there's very hardworking devs at 343, however due to leadership troubles and without a clear vision of what Halo should be, it's a miracle Halo Infinite turned out the way it did. Now what does this mean for Halo? That's what you guys want to know. An internal email at 343 from Pierre Hintz, who took over from Bonnie Ross, said that the studio is restructuring and the majority of the cuts were for the campaign side of the game. I would have loved Halo Infinite The Endless to have been written by Joe Staten himself because he does an amazing job at writing Halo campaigns. Pierre was the guy who saved MCC and made it into the wonderful game it is today, so keep that in mind too. People have been saying that Joe can do more good for Microsoft as a whole, looking after all of the studios by returning to his Xbox publishing position. The whole contracting staff that caused numerous issues. He'll be returning to a position where he can influence real change on the company as a whole. After researching everything, my statement on Twitter was this. 303 has been impacted by a recession layoff just like everyone else. Joe usually comes on to finish games and then goes back to publishing. And I've seen numerous 343 devs who have said the following. I just want to say Halo isn't going anywhere. I get people are concerned right now, but this isn't the end. And from all the fact checking and all the information I can gather, they're all saying the same thing. Personally, I've had a great start to the year on YouTube and I don't see any reason for that to change. You guys, the community, have been creating awesome modding and forge content. I think I've had the best start to a year for Halo I've ever had. Numerous videos have hit over 100,000 views. Some of them have hit 300,000. And that's just in the last two weeks alone. Of course, it sucks that some long-term stuff are affected today and I hope they find a new position elsewhere. Halo's multiplayer stuff will have new seasonality content. The only question the whole community has now is what are the plans for Halo Infinite The Endless? So that's just me looking at it objectively. I've been around for 20 years of ups and downs of Halo. It'd be great to have a statement from 343 about it. It's very easy to go doom and gloom and say Halo is over, Halo is dead. But when I look at things, the positives and the negatives, especially the Bungie era games and the modding scene in particular, 
That isn't going to go away. People love these games. From everything I've heard myself, there are some really big positive Halo things coming. When I cross-reference that, even Bathrobes Button said the same thing to me. I'll do my best to bring the best content I possibly can for you guys. I try and be balanced in these videos, talking about the good and the bad, so I hope that comes across in what I'm saying. But for now, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I will do a longer video about Halo Infinite's development and the decisions that were made that caused a long technical debt that had to be fixed, so keep an eye out for that. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later.